Hello, Professor. Um, this is Shelby. Um, I wanted to give you my screencast to show you uh, where my assignment met the needs for all criteria. Um, let's start with the opening line must contain the author's first, last name, title of talk, and main idea. Okay, right here. Please ignore this part. This is my husband's computer and it's ancient. Um, in my opening line, I talk about the name, the title, Let's Put Birth Control Back on the Agenda by Melinda Gates, um, and then how she states the importance of birth control and how women should have a choice in whether or not they want to have children. Um, and that is the title, um, the title, sorry, the title of the talk, and then the main idea. Sub subsequent lines must include main points in the order they appear, like for instances or for examples. We have that over here. Um, let's see. Um, when she talks about many useful facts about birth control, um, for instance, out of all the men and women in El Salvador, 66% of 66% are using some form of contraception. And there's another one. Furthermore, thousands of women claim they do not want to get pregnant, yet many fall pregnant every year and suffer severe emotional and physical trauma because of it. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm not very good at navigating. Uh, viewpoint must remain neutral. Um, I tried to include that in there. I didn't talk about how I thought that this talk was inspiring or how I felt that this related to me. Um, present tense verbs. Um, I used verbs like states. Um, talks use the present tense. Um, yeah, let's see what else we got going on here. Summary must be entirely in your own words. It is um, use at least three transition words. I use them right here. Let's see. Right here we have the for instance, furthermore, and overall. Um, let's see what else we have on the list. Refer to the author, speak of her at least three times. Um, I did that. I stated her name a couple times. We have Melinda Gates, who is, she's actually the wife of Bill Gates. Um, Melinda, and then Melinda. And then we have you third person point of view, sticking to phrasing like they, people one. Um, I did not refer to myself or we or are. Um, I talked about women. Um, let's see. Sorry, my computer is so slow. Uh, many fall pregnant every year, blah, 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 blah. And then I used the MLA, I believe that was the next one, follow MLA formatting guidelines, and then I cited it as well using um, Citation Machine, which I talked about in our studio class. Um, MLA right there, that's my citation right here. Um, I actually have a works cited page, which is down here, so I'm not really sure what this is doing up here, but I will get rid of that. Um, and then the proper MLA format, my name, your name, the English class, the date, and then the header, um, and then the title right here. Let's see what else we have. Um, grammar mistakes, I definitely went over and checked to make sure there was no grammar. Um, and I also did submit my paper to the Writing Center, and I did it online. So hopefully that got in there. And I'm sorry if the screencast is awkward. Um, let's see. Um, what I learned, I'm going to do, what did you learn about academic summaries that you didn't know before? Um, I learned that they just have to be short and sweet and to the point. Um, I feel like a lot of time when people try to describe something, they stray off from the topic, which I'm definitely guilty of. Um, so I really enjoyed being able to get down to the points and putting all my facts together because it definitely helps in the long run of helping people understand what the video is about as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I will submit this now.